She was the people's princess. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be learning more about the life of Princess Diana. Diana Frances Spencer was born July 1, 1961, in Sandringham, Norfolk. Her aristocratic family had had close ties with Britain's royal family for centuries, and included illustrious members like Sir Winston Churchill. At age seven, Diana went to live with her father after her parents' divorce. She attended first-class schools, and while she was not considered an exceptional student, the shy Diana did excel in pursuits like music, dancing, and swimming. In 1975, her father became the Earl Spencer, which meant Diana earned the title Lady. Two years later, Lady Di met Charles, Prince of Wales, while he was dating her older sister, Sarah. By the end of the 1970s, Diana was living in London, where she fostered her love of children as a nanny and teacher. It wasn't long before her acquaintance with Prince Charles grew into more, and the two began a courtship despite their 13-year age difference. After six months of dating, Charles and Diana announced their engagement on February 24, 1981. The world became enamored with the couple, and since Charles was next in line to the British throne, the media was fascinated. Approximately 750 million people gathered around their televisions on July 29, 1981 to watch this fairy tale wedding at St. Paul's Cathedral, and it was even marked as a national holiday in the United Kingdom. Diana wore a spectacular dress with a 25-foot train, which marked the beginning of her reign as a style icon. A few months after the wedding, the prince and princess announced Diana's first pregnancy. Prince William was born in June the next year, followed by Prince Harry in September 1984. By all accounts, Diana was an available and loving mother to her boys. However, even then, she struggled with the scrutiny and responsibilities associated with her post. It was later revealed that she suffered from bulimia and depression during this time and had contemplated suicide. She turned to charity work as a means to cope and frequently visited sick children as well as AIDS and leprosy patients. In fact, Diana was the first celebrity photographed touching an HIV-infected person. Unfortunately, as the 1980s progressed, Diana and Charles privately drifted apart. In mid-1992, news of affairs on both sides of the marriage was splashed across the tabloids, and British Prime Minister John Major announced their separation that December. It is announced from Buckingham Palace that with regret, the Prince and Princess of Wales have decided to separate. Their Royal Highnesses have no plans to divorce, and their constitutional positions are unaffected. More lurid details of the royal couple's extramarital romances surfaced over the next few years, until the couple finally divorced on August 28, 1996. Diana continued lending her support and celebrity to charities, including the International Campaign to Ban Landmines, which won a Nobel Peace Prize in 1997. Diana also had high-profile relationships following her divorce, though she mostly protected these from media attention. By mid-1997, she was dating Egyptian film producer Dodi Fayed. It was with him that she traveled to Paris in August 1997. As the couple attempted to thwart paparazzi, they were chased through the city's streets at high speeds. Unfortunately, just after midnight on August 31, 1997, the car's driver, Ari Paul, lost control and they crashed in the Pont de Lama tunnel at approximately 65 miles per hour. Since none of the occupants were wearing seatbelts, the driver and Fayed were killed instantly. Diana survived the crash, but succumbed to her injuries in hospital hours later. Stephen, I have to interrupt there, um, because within the last few moments, the Press Association in Britain, citing unnamed British sources, has reported that Diana, Princess of Wales, has died. Diana's death elicited outpourings of grief worldwide. It also prompted numerous conspiracy theories and false rumors. Though an official investigation blamed the crash on the driver's reckless speed and high blood alcohol level, there was intense speculation that it was not an accident. The most outrageous theories contended she was assassinated by the royal family due to her relationship with Fayed, which was a hypothesis supported by Fayed's own father. Diana's funeral was televised from Westminster Abbey on September 6th, and millions tuned in across the world to say their final goodbyes. Despite her tragic end, Princess Diana is remembered for her philanthropy, humanitarianism, style, and grace. 
By growing from a shy girl into a confident advocate, she will always be remembered as the Princess of Hearts.